Hello everyone, my name is Arun Thomas. I'm a product owner here at Crestron in the AV Solutions team. And today, we're gonna to take a closer look at the DMNAX Edge devices. These are great products for taking audio onto and off of the network. So let's take a deeper dive into our first device. First up, we're gonna talk about the DMNAX BTIO 1G. This is a single gang Bluetooth transmitter receiver device. You can use this device to take audio from a Bluetooth device such as your phone, tablet, or a computer and get it onto NAX. From a form factor standpoint, as I mentioned earlier, it's single gang. You have a RJ45 connector here. It's PoE powered. So right now I have it connected to my network switch. On the front here, we have the OLED display along with four buttons. One for your menu, one for navigating up and down through the menu system, as well as increasing and decreasing volume, as well as Bluetooth button for pairing. Below that, you'll see a door, which leads us to the two 3.5 millimeter jacks. These jacks can be used to connect to other various audio devices or any legacy devices that you may have lying around. From an application standpoint, this device can be used in various different use cases. For example, in an application such as a gym, which may already have NAX integrated in, you can just put this device on the wall and connect it to network. Then your staff members can go ahead and pair their phone to it and start playing music. It's as simple as that. Another use case would be hospitality, where you have BTIO in every guest room and there's already a NAX system integrated. Now your guests can go ahead and pair their device to it and start playing music in their guest room. Another use case would be in residential. You can certainly mount this in various rooms in the house. Guests or your family members who may not have Apple devices and may have only Android devices can now Bluetooth to this and start sharing their audio onto NAX. Now, for those guests that may not have Wi-Fi access, they can certainly Bluetooth from their phone to the BTIO, and now even their songs and their music is also shared on the network. So the BTIO is fully configured right out of the box, but if you need additional functionalities to fit various customer needs, the BTIO supports three different connection modes. The first one is the default one, which is exclusive. So only one device can be connected to the BTIO at any given time but you can have up to six pair devices on the BTIO. The next mode is interrupt mode. If I'm connected to BTIO and then somebody else, they're already paired to the BTIO, they can go ahead and connect to the BTIO and kick me out. The last connection mode is temporary mode where let's say I pair to the BTIO and then I walk out of range, the Bluetooth range of the device. It'll then forget my device and I will have to come back and repair to the device. This is great for usage in hospitality environments where you may have different guests checking in and out. It's one way to make it easy to manage that. So we have another advanced feature called fixed volume. So by default, fixed volume is enabled. So what does that mean? When you're using it with a control system, you have the control system adjusting zone output volume on the amplifier. So if I'm sending audio from my phone to the BTIO, that audio will go directly to the amplifier and it's the amplifier output that gets adjusted when you're increasing or decreasing volume on your phone. That's in fixed volume enabled. If I disable that, and let's say my amplifier output volume is set at a nominal level, I can go ahead and now adjust the volume on my phone, and what that does is it actually adjusts the audio on the stream that's being sent to that amplifier. So that's another flexibility that we give with the BTIO. So one of the great features of the Edge devices is the powerful DSP that is under the hood, right? We allow you to do processing at the edge so that your streams are already processed and cleaned up and ready to go to be on the network. And the BTIO is no different. On the BTIO, we have a very powerful matrix mixer. In fact, it's a nine by eight matrix mixer. It takes in your line inputs, your Bluetooth inputs. It can accept two NAX streams. We also have an input for signal generator built in. As far as input processing goes, there's a control for adjusting your input compensation or gain. We have individual mute controls for each of the channels. Then all those inputs go into that nine by eight matrix mixer I was mentioning before. And in this matrix mixer, Mixer, you have the ability to mix your various inputs and send them to the outputs on the device. The outputs of the matrix mixer, you have a delay control, you also have a volume slider, a mute control, and you have line outs as your output, Bluetooth out, and you have your two stream outputs. So as you can see, the BTIO is a very versatile edge device that can be used in various different use cases. For more information, please check out crushon.com. So this is the DMNAX Odd USB. 
This is our next Edge device. This is a two-channel bi-directional USB audio interface. It'll take audio from, say, a laptop via USB, and you can take the audio from the USB and onto your NAX integrated system. This can be used in a lot of different applications. For example, in a lecture hall, let's say you have a professor or presenter wanting to connect up their laptop to the integrated NAX system in the hall. All they need to do is just bring their device, connect it via USB-C, and now you have audio from their computer going out through the odd USB to the NAX-enabled speaker system. From a connectivity standpoint, we have a RJ45 on the back, so you can connect up your Ethernet cable, which provides PoE to the device. And on the front, we have a USB-C connector, USB 2.0 USB-C connector, as well as a 3.5 millimeter input jack and a 3.5 millimeter output jack. So just like the other Edge devices, the DMNAX Odd USB also has a very powerful DSP capabilities. Looking under the hood, on the input side, we have a line input left and right from the 3.5 millimeter input jack. We have USB in left and right from the USB connector. This can also accept two stereo streams as an input. For each of the inputs on the device, you have input compensation as well as mute control. Additional input is a signal generator. So you can go ahead and use a signal generator, select whether you want a specific frequency or pink noise, and you can route that to various outputs from this device. The heart of this device, there's a nine by eight matrix mixer. So the inputs feed this matrix mixer, and then on the output of the matrix mixer, you have a line output left and right using the 3.5 millimeter line out. We have a USB output left and right, and we have two stereo stream outputs. From an output processing standpoint, we have the ability to set tone controls, a 10 band parametric EQ, a delay, volume control, and mute control. And that's available on eight of the output channels. As you can see, the Odd USB is a very flexible device. It can meet a lot of different use cases from lecture halls, home offices, conference rooms, other commercial spaces, anywhere you need to take audio from a computer via USB and onto NAX, the Odd USB is the device you would want to use for that application. For more information, go to crushon.com. Next up, we have the DMNAX Odd IO. This is another useful device to take your legacy audio device that you may have lying around. For example, if you have an existing CD player that may not have a digital output, you can go ahead and connect the output of that CD player into the input of this, and now that CD player is on the network. The Odd I.O. serves as a great use for retrofit applications where, let's say you may have an existing crush on mod amp, right? A modular set of amplifiers that's not NAX. You can use that with this device and turn that into another NAX zone. So how do you do that? So for example, let's say I have a NAX 8ZSA, right? And I want to be able to send audio from that 8ZSA out to another zone, a non-NAX amplifier. Well, I connect the output of this odd I.O. to the input of that amplifier. And now my audio from the 8ZSA goes to the odd I.O. And now that odd I.O is serving as a zone for that non-network amplifier. So from a form factor perspective, again, we have an RJ45 connector on the back. This operates on PoE, just like our other Edge devices. And on the input side, we have a five pin Phoenix connector for the input and a five pin Phoenix connector for the output. So on the back here, we also have, in addition to the RJ45 jack, we have a setup button and a setup button LED. This is available on all of our Edge devices. And it serves two purposes. One is to perform a network reset of the device, as well as to perform a factory reset of the device. So just like the other Edge devices we talked about so far, the Odd I.O. also has powerful DSP features. So on the Odd I.O., we have a total of five inputs, two channels on the line input side, the balanced line input, as well as a stream input, which consists of two channels, and then you have a single channel signal generator. On the input processing side for the line input, you have gain controls, the ability to adjust compensation, as well as mute control. On the stream input, you'll be able to adjust the input compensation, as well as mute controls. And on the signal generator, there's no input processing. These inputs then feed a five x four matrix mixer, which allows you to mix your inputs however you see fit and send it out to your desired outputs. 
On the output section here for output processing, we have tone controls, a 10 band parametric EQ, a delay control, volume control, as well as mute controls. And your outputs are your line output left and right, channel one, channel two, as well as your stream output, channel one, channel two. So as you can see, the Audio is a perfect solution to take audio from your legacy devices and onto the NAX network, as well as taking audio from the NAX network onto your non-networked amplifiers or any other line level devices. For more information, go check out crushon.com. Here we have the DMNAX 2XLRI 1G. It's a single gang edge device, which you can use to bridge your pro audio devices onto the NAX network. Things such as microphones, whether dynamic, condenser, or even line level inputs from a mixing console, you can go ahead and feed that, now it's on the NAX network. So the 2XLRI can be used in a wide variety of places, commercial spaces, town halls, lecture halls, houses of worship, basically anywhere that may see professional audio equipment, and you have NAX also built into the building, and you want to get audio from the equipment onto NAX, this is where you would use the 2XLRI. One of the use cases would be for a town hall. Say this is located in the room that the town hall is taking place and you have a mixing console there uh, which is just feeding that particular room. But you have NAX that's feeding all the rooms in the building. You can take a signal from the mixing console connected to the 2XLRI. Now that audio from the town hall is now being able to be sent out to the network feeding the other rooms in the building. That's one application where the 2XLRI can be used. Another application is, while this accepts line level, you can also use it in a house of worship application or any other application that requires connecting microphones. You can connect up dynamic as well as condenser microphones to this device. If you're using condenser microphones, the 2XLRI provides you the ability to turn on phantom power. You just need to go into the web UI to configure that. Now you'll be able to take audio from the microphones onto the NAX distributed system. From a form factor standpoint, we have an RJ45 connection for PoE and Ethernet. We have a setup button and a setup LED. On the front here, we have two XLR connections, two Neutrik XLR connections. And on the back here again, we have a five pin line out connector. So as an added bonus, we sell these MPWP, XLRO, and RCAO passive wall plates. You can pair these two devices up with the 2XLRI to get more of a professional output connection to your downstream devices from the 2XLRI. The 2XLRI also has a very powerful DSP functionalities under the hood. On the input, we have two XLR inputs. This is also capable of receiving two channel single stream as well as a signal generator input. On the XLR side, we have gain control, the ability to select whether it's a mic level or a line level signal, the ability to turn phantom power on and off, the ability to adjust compensation, the ability to control mute, as well as a five band parametric EQ. These five inputs then feed a five by four matrix mixer, just like the other edge devices we talked about. And you can basically mix your two XLR inputs or your stream inputs and send it to your desired outputs on the device or on the stream. For output processing, we have delay on each of the four outputs, as well as volume control and mute control. As you can see, the DMNAX 2XLRI-1G is the solution to bridge the gap between professional audio and NAX. For more information, please see crushon.com.